So Terraria Craft is a mod that aims to recreate Terraria inside of Minecraft and recently it's had some very exciting updates including adding one of Terraria's hardest boss fights for me, the Queen Bee. Oh she's swimming, she's having a little swim. <laughs> so today we're going to be exploring as many new things as possible. And first off I've already found something new, a brand new world creation menu. This looks straight out of Terraria, I love it. So we'll make an expert world. We'll go corruption, survival, and we'll begin. All right, so here we are in the world of Terraria Craft. So, some new structures have been added to the world, uh, and you can already see them right in front of us. Uh, living trees have been added, and uh, and I gotta say, they look glorious. They truly look like behemoths, though. You know, when you play Terraria, a regular tree, it just looks like a regular tree. You know, you're not putting things to scale in Terraria, but here in Terraria Craft, yeah, these are uh, absolutely giant. So I'll probably focus today's video on actually finding all of these new structures because there's quite a few of them. So it looks like you can go inside. Uh, it looks quite deep. It looks very deep. Okay, I'm going to work on uh, maybe getting some torches. Oh, look at these. Wow. Okay. So the, uh, the like, cherry blossom, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Sakurai? Sakura? I don't know. Uh, they've been added as well. Wow, these look really nice. So alongside the living trees, they've also added pyramids. Now, I really want to try and find a pyramid. Although, if the top of the pyramid isn't sticking out above the sand, I feel like I've got no chance. That's uh, an actual needle in a haystack. Now, of course, because this is Terraria Craft, you can just jump straight into crafting. Uh, I really envy you if you've never seen this before, because honestly, uh, yeah, it blew my mind when I first saw it, and it's so great to check it out after uh, after all this time. It's now raining, but I finished our very first start at home. I'll probably come back and just build some more in a bit, because uh, this took quite a lot of time and quite a lot of wood. But yeah, just like Terraria, single torch, table, chair, crafting bench, uh, Chippy's couch. Yeah, that's right. The mod peaked right here. Uh, so let's actually go and explore then. Uh, I've only got two torches. Let's go and explore one of these living trees. Uh, it seems like there is quite a lot of them. Uh, and I do wonder, have they added the finch stat? Or is this going to be just a loom and, uh, and just a wand? Okay, let's dive down. Oh, that's nice. A little bit of Terraria fall damage helping us out. Thank you very much. Wow, these are really deep. Um, I think this is the house. Oh, hell yeah, we survived. All right. Wow, look at this. Well, this is really cool. Uh, so we've got our very own, let me put down the torch, our very own loom. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, there's a, a table. I'll also take that. So, you know, just like Terraria, you've got to ransack these places. Uh, there's pots as well. Let's break these. Anything good? we got rope. That'll help us get out. we got money. we got a potion and a living wood wand and a leaf wand. Thank you very much. Yeah, these are really cool. If not just for uh, for maybe farming chests. I don't know if they all have houses inside. Uh, probably, because this is like, you know, they've just added them. They're probably very proud. So do they go all the way down? Okay, they, they just end abruptly. That's all right. It would be neat in the future if they could kind of, uh, you know, have some kind of like natural cave down there. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> that was a genuine jump scare. Oh, that was terrible. Now we may not be called Marty, but we do have a guide. Welcome, guide, please. Be in awe of this wonderful structure I've built for you today. Be proud to call this your home. You want to go in the corner? That's fine, Zach. Don't even worry about it. Now, I wouldn't recommend this in Minecraft, but since we do have a night time to kill and I've got nothing else to do, I'm going to dig straight down and just see if I can find a cave just like on our own. Because if we can, it would be awesome. And if not, it's like, you know, it's no time wasted. I don't want to be out there. Whoa, okay. That was not bad at all. I think last time we played, it took about, I don't know, like 100, 200 blocks of mining. That was pretty speedy. So it looks like I've actually stumbled across something good. Uh, There's copper ore. So one thing we want to be on the lookout for is actually these pots, because if I remember right, you can get Spelunker potions from them. And uh, crafting your own Spelunker potions in this mod takes a while. But Spelunker potions are like next level in Terraria Craft. It basically gives you uh, X-ray vision, which is kind of essential. Uh, so we found a life crystal. This is great. Thank you very much. Uh, so now we can have the uh, the nurse move in once we make her a home. 
Ooh, so we have found a demon altar down here, which will be uh, pretty handy. And I can see here, Blink Root. Now, you have no idea how much this means to me. When I made those videos about two years ago, I spent hours looking for a single Blink Root. And here they are. They're just glowing and, and growing, okay? Now, I'm actually really happy to see this because this is another new thing I was looking for. They've added coin bags inside of caves. So we've got a golden one here. Let's break it. It's taken a little while to break. That's fine. Uh, so how much did we get? Wow. Okay, 64 gold. I feel bad because I'm probably going to have to, like, you know, sling myself off of here to get back to spawn because we don't have a magic mirror. Oh, it's a ghost. Right. I was about to say, I think I've discovered a bug. I'm getting attacked by absolutely nothing. Uh, okay. Why is there a ghost after me? And can I make it despawn? Right, I'm running away. I wonder if he's looking... Oh, okay. Uh, I was about to say, I wonder if he's looking at me like, why are you destroying my home? Well, listen, Zach, right? I'm, uh, I'm improving it. I got stone now. Uh, it's time to, to truly show my, my master builder skills and and make this a, a true home like this. So I had a bit of time to kill while it was nighttime. So I built two more homes so we can get some NPCs. And now it's time to find the jungle or I'll also take the desert as well because I do want to find a pyramid. Now, you may be wondering, James, why is your render distance so low? Do you have a good computer or no? Well, it's actually the mod. You have to keep your render distance low to make everything work. But we are going to change that just for this so that I can find the biomes a little bit easier. So having your render distance this far out does break the NPCs and the AI and whatnot. But for uh, exploring, yeah, I would recommend it. So we've found the jungle. Now, my main goal here is to not fully explore just yet. I really want to find some moon glow so that we can make spelunker potions. Because then if we can get some accessories, we can fully explore the jungle. Because if I remember right, the jungle, like actual Terraria, is quite a bit harder than the other biomes. So you don't really want to go in unprepared. Like if I remember right, the hornets, they snipe you out of nowhere and they're like a two-shot kill. So um, so yeah, we have to we have to be prepared. Oh, I think this might be our very first house of this world, okay? Uh, so we'll mine inside. Usually there is a door to this, but um, listen, I ain't waiting. Here we are. Oh, this is ace. All right. We've got wooden arrows, potions, a recall, which is quite nice because I am losing money constantly, uh, and a gills potion. So I would say probably like not the best house in reality. Ah, okay, so we just got the achievement, where's my honey? Now, I think that that means you're near a queen bee biome or in a queen bee biome. So just going off of that, I'm going to dig around as much as possible because hopefully we might have found one. Well, take a little look at that. We have actually found a bee biome. So yeah, hats off to that achievement because otherwise I don't think I'd have found this. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's really cool. So I'm back in the jungle. I had a couple of those Spelunker potions, but I didn't actually find any chests. So I was like, well, I need more moon glow. I'm coming back. And uh, and yeah, the first cave we went down, here it is. Um, Well, we have to see what this looks like. I'm sorry, but we do. We have to check on this. Uh, the good thing is, you know, with the abomination and whatnot, it's it's quite easy to, to actually summon a queen bee. But this is our first time actually exploring one. So, you know, we, we have to. Okay, let's jump into the honey. Oh, it works just like Terraria. That's actually so sick. Wow. Okay. Uh, so this place, turns out, is giant. Look at that. That is so cool. I tell you what, though. It'd be a very, uh, a very hard biome to actually fight in. I guess, to be honest... This is how it's it's meant to look in Terraria, you know, with the, the base being honey. But when you look at it in 3D, gosh, like, we're going to have to... If we want to do this, we'll have to build over it. I don't think I can, though. I mean, I do have a golden bow, but I have zero accessories. And I'm also, like, you know, I'm bad at Queen Bee. How do we deal with its, with its dash as well? Oh, I can't even swim. Oh, no, this is tragic. Let me... 
Let me see if I can get into this rope. Oh, there we go. Now, I was debating just jumping into this, but I really am unprepared. So I've written down the coordinates. I'm going to go explore a little bit more. Uh, and we'll come back. I think I'm going to bring some stone and actually, uh, like, just pave over all of this, honey. I think if we do that, we might actually uh, stand a bit of a chance. If I don't do that, though, there's, like, there's, there's no way that we do this. I think this is new, too. Uh, I think these are uh, little beehives. I'm going to break one for science. Yeah, <laughs> that's awful. Yeah, when we go to base Queen B, uh, I don't think it's going to be good. I think we might need a sword to uh, to get rid of these. So, we found a proper jungle house. Now, I tell you what, if this chest is nothing but recall potions, that's it. I'm uninstalling. It's an extractor. Well, listen, I didn't say uh, it couldn't be that, but I should have done. I, I should have known. Um, yeah, the, the only problem with this mod is the lack of chests. Like, it, it's taken me, I don't know, like, a good couple of hours now, and I've only found, like, three or four, which is a big problem, because it's kind of, it's killing the pacing a little bit. Fingers crossed, this is something good. Uh, it's kind of good. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Okay, fingers crossed. A magic mirror. Now, that's interesting. Once again, not an item I really would have picked, but... I can't really be like, oh, that's the worst item I've ever gotten. Okay, so I went mining for about three hours. I'm a little bit brain rotten right now, but that's all right. Now, I didn't actually find that many upgrades, to be completely honest, but I did find some water walking potions, which might work on honey. I don't know yet. Uh, I've got lots of arrows. I've got a golden broadsword. I've got a golden chest piece. I've got regen potions. I've got iron skin potions. And I'm hoping, like, all of that combined is, you know, gonna lead me on the right path. First test is the water walking potions. Will this actually work on the honey? I'm hoping yes. If not, we'll just build around it. Oh, it works. Okay. I feel like I've got to be careful not to press down. Let me actually test that. Oh, no, okay. All right. I can't pass through the water. This is already a really good sign. I mean, it's honey, right? It's, it's not water. I gotta remember where I am. I gotta stay focused and I gotta stay zen. So let's take a uh, shine potion. Let's take our regen. Let's take our iron skin. Uh, we're gonna be using jester arrows to begin with. And then we've got flaming arrows afterwards. Uh, we got our golden broadsword. How bad is this gonna be? I don't know. It, it, it's up for debate, really. Okay, here we are. Here's a little look at the uh, the summoning device. Very cool. Begin. Queen Bee has awoken. Whoa, there she is. There she is. Oh, she's swimming. She's having a little swim. <laughs> okay. Well, I think it's safe to say we will not be beating Queen Bee. Although I'm going to give it my best try. Yeah, we, we ain't beating her. We ain't gonna. I mean, to be honest, in reality, I can barely beat her in Terraria as is. So I think for this, you are going to want to have uh, some, you know, you're going to want to double jump. You're going to want Herbie's boots. You're going to want it all. Obviously, we're not going to win. That's fine. Uh, but let's actually just see how far we can get and just see what this fight really looks like. But yeah, we just don't have the uh, the movement accessories quite yet. Um, and it's mainly just because I found it incredibly hard to, uh, to find chests and whatnot. But we'll keep this going. We are technically still alive, so that's good. I think probably what's going to kill me mostly is just running out of arrows at this rate. So that was pretty disastrous. But you know what? Still really cool. I guess at the end of the day, I just wanted to see what it looks like. I love how wild that fight was. In 3D, it's quite scary. And I do quite like that it's authentic to Terraria in the sense of if I approach that in Terraria in expert mode with the stuff that I've got right now, I die. Okay, so excitingly, we have actually found our pyramid. And it wasn't that hard to find. Uh, these stick out above the sand by quite a bit. Ah, okay. So once you get inside, there is actually like a pathway, kind of like a, a normal pyramid. And it seems to be based on the, uh, the ones in Terraria too. Oh, wow. It's actually got a room and everything. So what's in here? A sandstorm in a bottle. You know what? Honestly... I should have looked for this straight away. If you're going to play this mod, I highly recommend just going for this room first. Wow. Okay. 
There's also uh, quite a bit of loot in here. Oh, I need to, uh, to drop my settings back down again. Yeah, it, it, it's best to just increase this if you're just looking for a structure. And then, yeah, once you bop it down again, everything goes back to normal. So before we wrap things up, I just want to give a huge thank you to the developers for continuing their work with this mod and also giving me an early build. They do have a Patreon, which I'll leave a link to down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.